Hi everyone. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video, but I found out about something I wanted to share with you guys. Did you know that you can use a self-healing mat instead, instead of the cutting plate on your manual dies and your electronic die cutting machines? Um, for me, this is a game changer because I don't have any more warped plates that I have to keep trying to fix or replacing. And I don't like the popping and cracking because I'm always wondering if I've done something to my die or to the plate. And I, you just don't have to buy these anymore, which saves a lot of money. So I got, I'm gonna show you how I did this. And I want to know, want you to know right from the start, I have permission from ProvoCraft to do this video. I got in contact with them and talked to them about this and they said to go ahead and use them. Um, of course this is kind of new so it hasn't been, I haven't used it long term and so I don't know if there's any long term problems from it but so far I haven't had any problems. But I learned about this on a Facebook group that I belong to and Debbie Evans posted this idea, and there was tons and tons of comments on it. People were very interested in it. And so she doesn't do videos, so I decided to do a video and show you guys how. She said this is not her original idea. So I'm going to first start by talking about mats. Um, I found, two, I've got two different mats. One I ordered from Amazon, one I had. I had an old Ulfa mat that I decided to cut up that had just been sitting around. And then I ordered this mat off of Amazon. And it's clear and it's a lot thicker. You can see the difference in the thicknesses. And they both work. You just have to figure out your sandwich. But I'm going to show tell you on this one, I measured this out and I cut it with my Tim Holtz scissors. It worked just fine, except my thumb was really sore because it's really hard to cut. You could also use a large pair. I have this large pair of Fiskars that also worked on it. But my husband cut this one, since it was a lot thicker, on a band saw with a fine tooth blade, and it cut really nice. This is how it looks after it's cut. You can see there's some rough edges. And all as he did was take a knife and just trim this part off like that. Comes off really easy. And then I took a sanding block and I sanded down the rest of the edges. And it smoothed it out really nice. No rough edges, no problems. So either way you can cut with scissors or whatever. It, it doesn't have to be like a perfect edge, but it has to be pretty close. So, um, out of my big 18 by 24 mat, I got two mats for my Gemini, one for my Big Shot, two for my Cuddle Bug, and three for my Sidekick. And the mat was like 16 or $17. So, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to show you how I did it, and then I'm going to give you a couple of tips on it. So on my sandwich for my cuddle bug, I used my A plate, then I used a manila folder, and you might need one or two shins um, onto that, and yours, your, my, yours might be different than mine, but then I put, um, after my folder, then I put down a B plate, then I put the self-healing mat down, and this was the Ulfa mat on this sandwich. And then I put my cardstock down, with my die, and I put my die facing down towards the cutting mat. And then I put a B plate on top of it. So that's my sandwich for this one. Now when you put this in, your cuddle bug with the mat, you need to make sure everything's square because there's not a lot of wiggle room. I had I had it get stuck once because I didn't have it lined up on the sides well. And I just put it through my machine. 
you know, this is a pretty intricate die, and I have found when I take these dies out, they just pop right out. They're very easy to work with, and it, it pretty much cuts everything out. I have not had to use, in all the ones I practiced on, and I'll show you how many I did, they, all the insides have just fallen out. They're just, you don't have to use your pick on them. They're so easy to get off. And they just pop right off the mat. And that's a pretty intricate die, and look how nice that popped off. So, um, I will give you a couple tips here. Um, the first tip was to keep your mats lined up, okay? The second tip is everybody is going to have a different mat or different shims and there is not one sandwich that's going to work for everybody. I'll list the sandwiches that I started off with in the description box and you can use that as a starting off point but you're going to it's going to depend on the shims you use, how thick your mat is, what dye you put in and so I can't give you this is the exact sandwich for this. The sandwich I use for this mat is different than the one I use for this mat because of the thicknesses of the mats. You also need to rotate your self-healing mat so that it has time to heal and it doesn't warp because it will kind of start bending. So turn it like this, then turn it over, and turn it like this, and it, you should be okay. Um, yeah, you just, you just need to figure out what the sandwich is for your own thing. And my biggest tip is, when you're cutting with your die, you need to make sure, like on some machines like your Gemini, you have to cut with the blade up, or it cuts into your magnetic mat. And so what you'd want to do is put your mat on top of your die. Well, first you'd have your um, first you'd have your paper over your die up, and then you'd put your mat on top of it. And I like this because then if the die slip, slips out, you can see it. But whatever sandwich or however you cut your die out, you want to make sure that your Blades, your cutting blades on your die are cutting into the self-healing mat. So if you're cutting on a Gemini and you're cutting with this up, you are going to put your mat on top. If you're on something like the cuddle bug and you like cutting down, then your self-healing mat's going to be underneath and facing down. So your die will cut into the self-healing mat. And it works either up or down. So if you guys have any questions or comments or you've tried this or whatever, we'll just you, you can just put a description or you can just put a comment in the description box below and you can ask me questions or whatever. I don't know what the long term is on this because I've only been doing this for a week or so. But I just wanted to share it with you. And you can share your experiences on this video, and then there'll be a place, maybe central place, for people to come and talk about it. So, yeah, I hope this helps someone. Have a great, great day. Thanks for watching.